here's a part two of the video on tape recovery I've taken the tablet and burned a couple of tapes so this is Frigate Commander on one side it's actually an old micro deal very attractive red tape but it's pretty pretty ropey so Frigate Commander on one side Zen on one on the other side so let's have a go and see if we can load up Frigate Commander from there Okay, that's loading, that's encouraging. Okay, the, so the, uh, where's it gone? So it does look like the original tape we've got is uh, is basically knackered. Uh, we, in the previous video, we couldn't load onto that side. We couldn't load onto that side, even though it started to load a bit better. The tape itself is, is gone. <coughs> one suggestion in the channel, I was thinking about it, but one suggestion was to replace the actual tape itself that's possible the problem is that this doesn't have screws this is actually glued together so I need to find a way of breaking that seal and opening it up this is where it gets a bit hair raising I am going to try that with this one scuba dive this one Durrell so they tend to be pretty good and they actually use tapes with screws on them so in theory that is possible to unscrew that, redo the tape, and that's it. So I've got a few of these 15-minute tapes. So at some point, I'm going to try that. Uh, if I can't, I'm, on all of these tapes, I'm going to try and record back over it. So what I'm going to do is I'll go through the library. I've got all of the library of broken tapes on here. So I'm going to spend some time in the background just blatting this 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 stuff back onto the old tapes to see whether any of them can be recovered and that would be good if that works and great but for any that don't work and I already know that Frigate Commander won't work I am i don't know what I'm going to do with these uh, scuba I can probably change the reel with these I'm just, I'm just not confident I'll be able to open it up in a nice way <sighs> I really don't, don't know what to do I mean I could hate to say it I could dremel it oh, I don't know that sounds horrendous these things are quite fragile plastics so I've got to be careful anyway I'm going to see whether any of these tapes where are they gone <clears throat> so any of these tapes are recoverable I'm going to give it out give it out a go and and we'll see so I already know well I have it hasn't loaded yet but if this loads then we know that the process of restoring back onto the tape using this tape deck is a goer if that is a goer great that means we've got a process worst case scenario I guess I can create some tapes but there you go that works brilliant that's really good news um, yeah fantastic so the process itself is doable we can create tapes as uh, as replacement to keep these machines and these games alive the issue though I suppose is I really want the original ones because they've got the original labels uh, I mean, if you look at this one, it's all a little bit naff. But from a sort of antique perspective, I don't want to get too daft here, but from an antique perspective, it's nice to have the original. It's, it's the original. So, yeah, okay, I could replace the whole flipping thing. But that's not great. I'm going to give it a go, and we'll see. Now we know that the basic process works on tape. And I'll let you know how it goes. So we might, I don't know, oh, uh, I'm not sure I should jinx it, but we might have some success. Probe 3 might be, the probe might be not lost in space after all. It might be recoverable, I don't know. It's actually loading off original tape, having loaded it from there, Probe 3. It seemed to take it. I did modify one of the settings. There's a setting here, let me show you. So in this application, there's a setting for uh, synchro length. That was set to eight bytes. I've, I've put it up to 128 bytes so that it's um, uh, it's a longer warble for it to, to, to lock on. And I'm not sure whether that's, that's made a difference particularly, but that seems to be happy now. So yeah. 
So far so good. <laughs> it's loading. We might even be able to get to play another game. I think that's the end bit. Yep. Damn. Okay, well. So we're nearing yet so far. Let's just rewind a bit and, and have a listen. Yeah, you can hear it's a bit... It's struggling, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we got closer. Nah, that's knackered, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, that's some bad stuff. It's on the other side. Is anything on the other side? No, the other side is empty. That's a bit of a shame. That's just not got a load. I don't know. I think that's going to be the case for all of these tapes, which would mean that I would need to get brutal and replace the actual tape bits themselves but it's how you get into the tape that worries me because they're sealed um, yeah I wonder okay well there might be ways I think I'm gonna pick Frigate Commander it's probably my least favorite game let's be honest out of that collection um, yeah it's quite well made in some ways but it's just not that entertaining but as an exercise in getting into a tape that's sealed I've heard I've heard tales <laughs> of people using a screwdriver into the the read write bit in there you push it in and you turn it to, to give you some purchase and then the thing pops open I'm not sure about that but we'll see I think they are glued um, and they're not designed to come to pieces so that's the next step and uh, yeah I'll keep you posted. <clears throat> Let's get brutal. <laughs> right, got a large unforgiving screwdriver. This is actually uh, one where you can change the bit. So I've been working up through various bits until I find one that's the right sort of size. And kind of works so let me just adjust this a minute so it's in the, not in the way uh, okay so the case of I've locked it off so you can you can do it oh, I did lock it off so you can do it in both wow both directions it's locked just a normal screwdriver so the question is can I open it oh Oh, there is some movement. Yeah, this side is is starting to. Oh, that side is actually starting to open. Yeah, there is a bit of damage there, but that's kind of inevitable, I suppose. Let's see if I've got a budger. is not going to be pretty. Oh, actually that comes off. Wow, that, I can't believe that opens. That looks like it's actually clipped. If I can get the spudger in there, if I use that maybe to Leave it open a little bit. Oh, that's tricky. If 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I've broken a bit of uh, top of the thing. These plastics are very, very old and quite brittle. But the top bit does seem to be unclipped now. That's good. So can I get that one in there? Oh, steady. Gently with the screwdriver, but very gently. There we go. Okay. Whoa. My God. Okay. Uh, right. Let me get. A, let me get a tin. All the guts are spilling out everywhere. Oh, another clip. Apart from that bit of damage at the top, which can we can hide that with a bit. Of, oh wow, that came that came. It is actually clipped. It's not glued. That's really cool. Okay. So that's the innards. Oh, look at that. So there's a piece of metal there with a pad on it. And that, that wipes and stops the dust going in there. So that's all bit perished. But we might be able to either do away with that or not, not bother. So we need to keep these, these bits. And this is the tape that is basically knackered. Um, let's try to see whether there's anything visible on there. Visible damage. It is a little creased. So now it's a case of, well, you can see that, probably not. It's quite visible to me from here, but I've got me magnifiers on. It is actually quite naff. Okay, so that's interesting. So that's possible to get that open. Now, this tape here has Frigate Commander on that side. Now, question is, can I get this one open? <laughs> so if I can get this one open, I might be able to transfer this to there. And uh, and then load it up. I know this one loads. So what I've got to do, just move that out of the way. I'm going to rewind this to the start. See if I can get that tape open. Okay, so it's going to be that side. Just make sure that that is actually put saved. So yeah, so that's going to be the front. Put that there. It's a shame that cracked a bit, but it's probably not a huge issue. Put a bit of tape on it. You might not even see it. The question is, can we get this one open? You see here, this has actually has the right tabs already on it. This is like a home tape for home use. A bit brutal, I know, a bit sacrificial, but hey, way. Okay, that's snip that one open can we get the rest of it open yes okay that's good gently down there now what the tricky oh the tricky bit is making sure I can get the old tape out of the way I have a slurp of coffee I'm going to put that there, out of the way. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to try to open it up and not disturb the innards as much as I can. So that I know which side it is and it'll, it should be fine because obviously it's, it's wound to the start of Frigate Commander, but...
it's kind of in some way spring loaded <laughs> with this plastic here wow there's a lot of stress on there now so this this clip whatever's holding this clip in is doesn't want to give up Oof. What I don't want to do is stab it in too much and then damage the tape inside. Is there any play on this in this bit? No. Okay. So where were we? Wow. Alright. Oof. that's very difficult I say what I don't want to do is damage the tape I might just have to get medieval and peel it back Ooh, Oi. that was one of the wheels it was now I don't need those ones because I don't want to uh, we've got the ones from the original tape, so we want to keep those. Oh, that's good. That finally gave up the ghost. And there's the pad there. So that pad looks okay. We've got the metal bit. And we've got a rather funky looking bit of plastic. So. More coffee. I think what I've got to do now, I'm going to discard, I'm going to gently sort of move bit, migrate bits away. And if I get, I have to be careful if I don't mess up the thing. So if I just do that, I need to get the this reel so it's not too bad this one because it's it's on the leader so if i get that reel there through there like that i'm gonna move this stuff out of the way because i don't want to confuse things let's just move out there weirdly i might even be able to reuse that tape it did snap at the end but it's not too bad Anyway, so this piece of metal goes in there, and I think I'm not entirely sure. I think it's that way. Bear with me a second. I need to get some more light on that. I think that's the way it is. Yeah, okay. So I've got to move that there. There we go. Let me show you. So I think that's how it is. You've got the metal bit there, and then you've got this bit here, which is flexible, that moves up and down. And the tape goes through that groove and then round there. All right, so the next step is to gently spool this to make sure that the tape is in is in that groove there and I guess the tricky bit is lining it up so that whoy, is lining it up so that the um the tape the in this case the it's the leader so that's good 
is uh, ah okay. I think what I need to do actually is I should have done it the other way. So if you can see here, these bits are standing upwards, which is annoying because it's like the other way round. So um, if I do that. Ooh. then I should not sure even sure whether that's even going to be possible yeah because they, oh, that's so annoying that they've done that all right I'm going to put it back the way it was I'll show you why so the issue is this thing here So they've done the groove. So if that was that side, if, if those standy up bits and that was on one side, it would be a lot easier to bloody spool it back. But they haven't done that. There must be a reason for it. I think, think it's just to piss off people like me 40 years after building it. But hey, you never know. So that goes in there. This goes in here. I can't see any other, way, any other way of doing it. Okay, so we're going to have to be very gentle. So I'm going to start spooling this in a little bit and then put this on over the top of it. And then try and feed. Yeah, I'll be very careful that I don't screw this up. Although I know it's only the leader, but I don't want to mess it up. Do it horizontal like that. Can I? Okay, that's one side in. Okay, so that looks good. Well, it's clipped together, just. Now it's not, I haven't glued any of this and there's obviously a hole in there. So what I'm gonna have to do before I do anything else is I'm gonna take, and this is not gonna be pretty, but needs must, needs must. Now I can't really find it. Oh, this place is a nightmare. I put stuff down. The trouble is, there's too many places to put things, <laughs> which is ironic, really. Okay, so I'm going to do this bit of tape. Ideally, I would have glued it, but this is all a bit of a test. Let's be honest. Put that on there, and then I'm going to. Put a bit of tape on the end there. Just to hide that damage. Yeah, okay, well it's not brilliant, but it seems to be together. Um, I don't know whether I need to actually extend that. The tape I'm using is just ordinary electrical tape. What I don't want to do is to make it too big, too obtrusive. So let's do that to there and then I'll snip it off. There you go. It's not perfect, but it'll stop it opening from the top anyway. Uh, right. Question is, does it load? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Right, bear with me. I'm going to tidy. Oh dear, what was that? I think it just flew off. Bear with me a sec. I'm going to tidy up and then we'll give it a test. Right, so let's test it. 
we can see the tape there <laughs> actually looks all right and it's got a really funky red header which it didn't have before i still don't know how stable this tape is physically but we'll see uh it's rewound let's just make sure yep yeah see if it loads <laughs> my god now it should do because i've loaded it from the other tape but that's just because i've loaded it from the other tape doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work i mean i happen to know that there's a copy of zen on one on the other side but hey i mean i could create we, we could write frigate commander again we should really to the other side of the tape in fast mode just for belt and braces but maybe it'll just be a surprise for anyone who might inherit this <laughs> I don't know who, who would want this junk, but hey. Famous last words, anyway. Let's wait until it loads. If it loads, that is a right triumph, because even though it's not the original media, tape media, it's the original tape cassette uh, with all the sort of, you know, horrible wobbly bits on the, on the plastic and all the imperfections. Yes, it did break a little bit opening it up, but I think in the future, maybe less brute force uh, it's tricky these things are of um uh dodgy plastics you know <laughs> that's really cool man oh, sorry my i think my oryx signal's gone a bit weird but that is really cool that loads and the tape is born again that is really good let me wind it because i'm nice oh man that is absolutely brilliant that's really annoying beeping sound i'm really chuffed with that that means there's one saved from oblivion um yeah i mean it's not it's not 100 percent perfect but you know what you wouldn't know I'd, I'd buy that and probably not even realize there's tape on the top uh hopefully the next one will go a bit smoother and uh yeah a game i actually want to play that'd be nice so free frigate commander on the oric save from oblivion right result see you next time cheers <laughs>